All right, so I'm gonna walk you through how to open ArcMath and import a vector data set. In this case, we're gonna go down to start, open up ArcMath. If you don't have Windows 7, um, it'll be in all programs. It'll be in ArcGIS and ArcMath. Um, in the computer lab in here, we'll be using ArcGIS version 9.3, Service Pack 1, uh, full install with all modules present. Once ArcGIS has loaded, which can take a little while depending, we will still wait. There we go. Alright, for this instance, uh, we're going to start with a new empty map. I have complete maps to show you, but this will illustrate the point better. So, new empty map, and just go, okay. And now what you're looking at is the ArcGIS window. This far left pane here is your layers window. It also has your data sources and information about your selection. This next window here is the toolbox window. And each one of these drop-downs contains modules and sub-modules to complete different functions with an image. And the final pane here on the right is where the image is actually drawn. So what you first need to do when you have ArcMap is you need to add data. Uh, there's many ways to accomplish that. One is the, on the Layers panel to right-click and add data. Or the other way, which is the one I'm going to show you, is to add data from the Add Data button here on the toolbar. So you click the Add Data button and you get a semi-standard Windows file open dialog. In this case it's opening to my last uh, location which is Campus FMS. But for this we're just going to show you let's say it opens to the root of your drive. Now if you want to add a folder to the list you have to use this button here which is the connect to folder. This button will open a standard Windows file dialog and from here you can choose what data set you want to add. So I want to connect to the Bike Trails Monroe County data set. Um, so I click OK. And now once I've connected to that database, the folder is open and all the data inside is shown. And you can click a single layer. You can use Control and click to select multiple layers or Shift and click to select all layers below a certain point. In this case, I'm going to select all of the data and I'm going to add them. ArcGIS will import the data and display it. Now what we have here is we have the Monroe County Trails database. Uh, on the left you can see the listing of the data layers and on the right you can see the actual layers themselves. Um, you can interact with this window. You can zoom in and out. It'll scale it. You can drag. Um, so basically, yeah, just as you would expect to interact with a data set like this. Um, on the left here, you can select toggle the visibility of a layer, do things like that, get rid of different layers. If you want to look at a layer of interest, let's say I only want to look at Cleese trailheads. Now there's less data cluttering the display. I can turn that off and look at bike trails. I can look at the bike trails layout. An incredibly useful feature if you're looking at something in specific is to select a layer, right click on it and go to zoom to layer and this will fit the extent of that layer as best as possible in your current view. Um, this allows you to get a close in view that still encompasses the whole data set and then from there you can add whatever you desire or you know interact with it in another way. Um, so that is basically a quick overview of how you open ArcMap, connect to a folder, and add a set of data.